I still remember the day we first heard the faint whispers. Our long-range scanners, the most advanced in the quadrant, had picked up a transmission so weak it was barely a whisper, but it was enough to set our hearts racing. It was an echo of life, a beacon of hope in the vast, cold expanse of space. We, the Krillians, are a race of explorers. For centuries, we've traversed the cosmos, searching for knowledge, resources, and perhaps, other sentient beings. Our home planet, Krillios, was once a thriving world, rich in resources and bustling with life. But over millennia, our civilization advanced, our population grew, and our resources dwindled. We became a nomadic race, forever in search of a new home, a new haven. This faint transmission, emanating from a small blue planet in a distant solar system, held the promise of a new beginning. The planet was rich in the very element we desperately needed, philium. It was the fuel that powered our ships, our technology, our very existence. Without it, we were doomed. After years of meticulous planning and preparation, we embarked on a journey that would change our lives forever. Our fleet, a marvel of Krillian engineering, set course for Earth, the blue planet that held our salvation. The journey was long and arduous, filled with the trials and tribulations that are the hallmark of any interstellar voyage. But we persevered, driven by the hope of a better future. When we finally reached Earth, it was more beautiful than we could have ever imagined. The vibrant blues of the oceans, the lush greens of the landmasses, the swirling whites of the clouds, it was a sight that filled our hearts with awe and wonder. We established contact with the inhabitants of Earth, a species called humans. They were a curious and intelligent race, although their technology was far less advanced than ours. We shared our knowledge and technology with them, hoping to foster a relationship of mutual respect and cooperation. As we began to explore Earth, we were amazed by the diversity of life it harbored. The sheer variety of flora and fauna was unlike anything we had ever encountered. We were particularly interested in the human's energy infrastructure, as it was based on the combustion of fossil fuels, a process that produced philium as a byproduct. We were eager to start collecting philium and replenish our dwindling supplies. We believed that the humans, grateful for our knowledge and technology, would be happy to share their resources with us. But to our surprise, they were reluctant. They claimed that philium was a valuable commodity, a source of economic and political power. We were baffled. How could they place such a high value on a mere byproduct? We tried to explain our predicament, how philium was essential for our survival, how without it, our civilization would perish. But our pleas fell on deaf ears. We were left with no choice but to purchase philium from the humans. But the price they demanded was exorbitant, far beyond what we could afford. We were devastated. How could they be so greedy? Didn't they understand the importance of cooperation, of helping those in need? Despite our disappointment, we continued to negotiate with the humans, hoping to reach a compromise. But they remained steadfast in their demands. We were starting to lose hope. As days turned into weeks, our negotiations with the humans stalled. We were growing desperate. Our philium reserves were running dangerously low, and we couldn't afford the exorbitant prices the humans demanded. We were forced to ration our fuel, limiting our exploration and delaying our return to Krelios. One day, while browsing the humans' information network, I stumbled upon a peculiar phenomenon. The humans had a system of gas stations, where they sold philium to their own kind. The prices at these stations fluctuated wildly, sometimes rising to astronomical levels. I was intrigued. Why would the humans charge each other so much for a resource they produced in abundance? I decided to investigate further. I disguised myself as a human, using a holographic projection device we had developed to study Earth's life forms. I visited several gas stations, observing the humans' behavior and eavesdropping on their conversations. What I discovered was both fascinating and disturbing. The humans had a complex economic system, based on the concept of supply and demand. They valued philium not just as a fuel, but also as a symbol of wealth and status. The price of philium was influenced by a myriad of factors, including political events, natural disasters, and even the whims of a few powerful individuals. I was appalled by the humans' greed and short-sightedness. They were squandering a precious resource, fighting over it, and exploiting each other. They seemed oblivious to the fact that philium was not just a commodity, but a lifeline for countless civilizations across the galaxy. I returned to our ship, filled with a mix of anger and sadness. I reported my findings to the Council, the governing body of our expedition. The Council members were shocked and dismayed by the humans' behavior. They realized that we couldn't rely on them for our philium needs. We decided to take matters into our own hands. We would find a way to collect philium ourselves, without the humans' interference. We began to explore Earth's remote regions, searching for natural sources of philium. We used our advanced scanners to detect philium deposits beneath the Earth's surface, and we developed new technologies to extract it safely and efficiently. Our efforts were met with success. We discovered several philium-rich areas, including a vast underground reservoir beneath the Sahara Desert. We set up hidden extraction facilities, using cloaking devices to shield them from human eyes. As our philium reserves grew, our spirits soared. 
we were no longer dependent on the human's whims. We could finally return to Krelios, knowing that our civilization was safe. But our work was far from over. We realized that Earth's philium reserves were finite. If the humans continued their reckless consumption, they would eventually exhaust them. And if that happened, countless civilizations, including our own, would be doomed. We decided to take a bold step. We would share our philium extraction technology with the humans, but on one condition, they had to stop their wasteful practices and start using philium responsibly. We sent a delegation to the United Nations, the humans' global governing body. We presented our proposal, explaining the importance of philium conservation and the dangers of its depletion. We offered our technology as a gift, a gesture of goodwill and cooperation. The humans were skeptical at first, suspicious of our motives, but we were patient and persistent. We answered their questions, addressed their concerns, and provided evidence of our sincerity. After weeks of intense negotiations, the humans finally agreed to our terms. They would adopt our technology, phase out fossil fuels, and create a global philium conservation program. In return, we would share our knowledge and expertise, helping them transition to a sustainable energy future. It was a momentous occasion, a turning point in the relationship between our two civilizations. We had overcome our differences, found common ground, and forged a partnership based on mutual respect and cooperation. As we prepared to leave Earth, I couldn't help but feel a sense of hope for the future. The humans had a long way to go, but they had taken the first step towards a brighter tomorrow. And we, the Krillians, would be there to help them every step of the way. The celebrations were short-lived. As we prepared for our departure, an urgent message arrived from Krelios. Our home planet was facing an unprecedented crisis. A rogue celestial body, a massive asteroid, was hurtling towards Krelios, threatening to obliterate our civilization. The news sent shockwaves through our ranks. We had just secured our future on Earth, only to face imminent destruction at home. The Council convened an emergency meeting, where we discussed our options. We could return to Krelios and try to divert the asteroid, but the chances of success were slim. We could also stay on Earth and seek refuge, but that would mean abandoning our home planet, our heritage, our very identity. As we debated our fate, a third option emerged. We had discovered a hidden function in our philium extraction technology. It could be modified to create a powerful energy shield, capable of deflecting even the largest asteroids. But to activate this function, we needed a massive amount of philium, far more than we had collected. We realized that the only way to save Krelios was to work together with the humans. We shared our predicament with them, explaining the dire situation and the potential of our technology. We asked for their help, their philium, their support. The humans were hesitant at first, understandably so. They had just started their philium conservation program, and diverting their resources to save a distant planet seemed like a risky proposition. But we reminded them of our shared values, our commitment to cooperation, our belief in a brighter future. After much deliberation, the humans made a momentous decision. They would join us in our fight to save Krelios. They would provide us with the philium we needed, and they would help us modify our technology to create the energy shield. It was a race against time. We worked tirelessly day and night, pooling our knowledge and resources. Krillian scientists collaborated with human engineers, sharing their expertise and pushing the boundaries of their respective fields. As the asteroid drew closer, our anxiety grew, but we refused to give up hope. We had come too far, sacrificed too much, to let Krelios perish. Finally, the day of reckoning arrived. The asteroid was within striking distance of Krelios. We activated our modified philium extractor, channeling all our energy into creating the protective shield. The atmosphere crackled with energy, and a shimmering dome enveloped Krelios, shielding it from the impending impact. The asteroid collided with the shield, unleashing a blinding flash of light and a deafening roar. But the shield held firm, deflecting the asteroid's trajectory and sending it hurtling into the depths of space. We had done it. We had saved Krelios. A wave of relief and jubilation washed over us. We had faced our greatest challenge, and we had emerged victorious. But our victory was bittersweet. We had learned a valuable lesson about the fragility of life, the importance of cooperation, and the power of hope. We had also discovered a hidden truth about ourselves, about the potential that lies within each and every one of us. We had come to Earth in search of philium, but we had found something far more precious, a shared destiny with the humans, a bond of friendship and trust that would last for generations to come. In the aftermath of our triumph, a newfound sense of unity and purpose permeated both our races. The humans, inspired by our shared victory, embraced philium conservation with renewed vigor, developing innovative technologies and implementing sustainable practices at an unprecedented pace. The once barren deserts bloomed with solar farms, the oceans buzzed with tidal energy generators, and the skies sparkled with wind turbines, all harnessing the power of nature to produce clean, abundant energy. As the humans progressed, we, the Krillians, 
found ourselves drawn to their resilience, their ingenuity, and their unwavering spirit. We stayed on Earth, not just as guests, but as partners, working alongside the humans to build a better future. Our scientists collaborated with their researchers, sharing knowledge and pushing the boundaries of science and technology. Our engineers worked with their builders, constructing eco-friendly cities and sustainable infrastructure. Our artists collaborated with their creators, producing works of art that celebrated our shared values and aspirations. In the process, we learned as much from the humans as they did from us. We marveled at their ability to adapt, to overcome adversity, to find hope in the face of despair. We were humbled by their compassion, their empathy, their unwavering belief in the inherent goodness of others. And then, the unthinkable happened. A new threat emerged, far more insidious than any asteroid. A mysterious disease, a virulent plague, began to spread across the globe, infecting humans and Krillians alike. The symptoms were terrifying. Fever, delirium, paralysis, and ultimately, death. Panic gripped the planet. Hospitals overflowed, governments scrambled, and scientists raced to find a cure. But the disease was unlike anything they had ever encountered. It defied conventional treatments, mutated rapidly, and spread like wildfire. As the death toll mounted, despair began to creep in. But we refused to succumb to fear. We had overcome countless challenges together, and we would not be defeated by this one. Krillian and human scientists joined forces, working day and night to unravel the mysteries of the plague. They analyzed its genetic makeup, studied its transmission patterns, and tested countless potential cures. After months of tireless research, a breakthrough emerged. A young Krillian scientist, a prodigy named Alara, discovered a unique property in Philium. When exposed to a specific frequency of light, it produced a powerful antibody that could neutralize the plague's toxins. Ilara's discovery was hailed as a miracle. We immediately began mass-producing the philium antibody, distributing it to every corner of the globe. The results were astonishing. The plague spread slowed, then stopped, and finally, began to recede. The world rejoiced. We had faced our darkest hour, and we had emerged stronger, more united, more determined than ever to build a brighter future. But our victory was not without cost. Many lives had been lost, both human and Krillian. We mourned their passing, honoring their sacrifice and vowing to carry on their legacy. In the end, the plague had taught us a valuable lesson. It had shown us the fragility of life, the importance of preparedness, and the power of collective action. It had also revealed a hidden strength within us, a resilience that could overcome even the most daunting challenges. We, the Krillians and the humans, had faced the abyss together, and we had emerged not just as survivors, but as a unified force, a beacon of hope in a universe teeming with both wonders and perils. Our shared triumph over the plague marked a new era of cooperation between humans and Krillians. We established joint research facilities, where our scientists worked side by side, sharing knowledge and pushing the boundaries of science. We developed new technologies, not just for energy production and disease prevention, but also for space exploration, environmental restoration, and social advancement. One of our most ambitious projects was the creation of a hybrid spaceship, combining Krillian warp drive technology with human artificial intelligence and robotics. This new vessel, dubbed the Unity, would allow us to explore the galaxy at unprecedented speeds and distances, opening up new frontiers of discovery and understanding. As we prepared for the Unity's maiden voyage, a sense of excitement and anticipation filled the air. We had assembled a diverse crew of Krillians and humans, representing the best and brightest of both worlds. I was honored to be chosen as the mission's commander, leading this intrepid team into the unknown. Our destination was a distant star system, rumored to harbor a planet with conditions similar to Earth. We hoped to find new life forms, new resources, and perhaps, new answers to the age-old questions of existence. The Unity launched with a spectacular display of light and sound, soaring into the cosmos on a pillar of energy. As we left Earth behind, I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. We were embarking on a journey that would change our understanding of the universe, and perhaps, our very place within it. After weeks of travel, we reached our destination, a binary star system with a vibrant array of planets. We focused our attention on the third planet, a lush green world teeming with life. As we descended through the atmosphere, we were greeted by a sight that took our breath away. The planet was covered in dense forests, sparkling rivers, and towering mountains. But what truly amazed us were the inhabitants. They were a race of humanoid beings, similar to humans in appearance but with subtle differences. They had vibrant blue skin, glowing eyes, and intricate patterns of bioluminescent markings on their bodies. We made peaceful contact with the inhabitants, who called themselves the Lumen. They were a peaceful and welcoming people, eager to share their knowledge and culture with us. We learned that they had developed a unique form of energy based on harnessing the power of their planet's bioluminescent organisms. This energy was clean, renewable, and incredibly powerful, far surpassing anything we had ever encountered. As we interacted with the Lumen, 
we discovered a shocking truth. They were not native to this planet. They had arrived centuries ago, fleeing a dying world ravaged by war and environmental destruction. They had found refuge on this planet, rebuilt their civilization, and embraced a new way of life based on harmony with nature. Their story resonated deeply with us. We too had experienced the devastation of war and the consequences of environmental neglect. We too had sought refuge on a new world, hoping to build a better future. The Lumen welcomed us with open arms, offering us their knowledge and technology. We learned from them, adapted to their ways, and eventually became part of their community. We shared our own knowledge and skills, contributing to the Lumen's ongoing efforts to preserve their planet and create a sustainable society. In the end, our mission to explore the galaxy had led us not just to a new world, but to a new understanding of ourselves. We had discovered that our differences were not barriers, but bridges, connecting us to a wider universe of possibilities. We had come to realize that the true purpose of exploration was not just to discover new worlds, but to discover new aspects of ourselves, to expand our horizons, to challenge our assumptions, and to embrace the unknown with courage and curiosity. Life on the Lumens planet was a harmonious blend of tradition and innovation. We learned their language, their customs, and their unique form of spirituality, which revolved around honoring the interconnectedness of all living beings. We shared our knowledge of the cosmos, our technological advancements, and our stories of Earth and Krelios. The Lumens bioluminescent energy technology was a marvel of ingenuity, harnessing the natural light produced by the planet's flora and fauna. Their cities glowed with an ethereal light, and their homes were powered by living organisms that pulsed with vibrant colors. We worked with them to refine and expand this technology, developing new applications for agriculture, medicine, and transportation. One day, while exploring the planet's vast network of underground caves, a team of Krillian and Lumen scientists stumbled upon an ancient artifact. It was a massive, crystalline structure, pulsating with a strange energy. Upon closer inspection, we realized it was a communication device, capable of sending and receiving signals across interstellar distances. We deciphered the device's inscriptions, which revealed a startling truth. The Lumen were not the first extraterrestrial race to visit this planet. Centuries ago, another civilization, far more advanced than ours, had established a colony here. They had shared their knowledge and technology with the Lumen, helping them build their civilization. But then, they vanished, leaving behind only cryptic messages and enigmatic artifacts. The discovery of this ancient civilization ignited a new sense of curiosity and wonder. We began to explore the planet with renewed vigor, searching for clues to the vanished civilization's fate. We found ruins of ancient cities, abandoned research facilities, and remnants of advanced technology. As we pieced together the fragments of their history, we learned that this ancient civilization had faced a similar crisis to the one that had threatened Krelios. They had developed a powerful energy source, but it had become unstable, threatening to consume their planet. In a desperate attempt to save themselves, they had activated a dimensional portal, hoping to find refuge in another universe. The portal had malfunctioned, tearing a rift in the fabric of space-time, and unleashing a catastrophic energy surge that had wiped out their civilization. The Lumen, who had been living in a remote region of the planet, had survived the cataclysm, but their world had been forever changed. The revelation of this ancient civilization's fate filled us with both awe and trepidation. We realized that the pursuit of knowledge and power could have devastating consequences. We vowed to learn from their mistakes, to use our technology wisely, and to always prioritize the well-being of our planet and its inhabitants. As we continued our exploration, we discovered a hidden chamber deep within the ancient ruins. Inside, we found a holographic message left by the vanished civilization. It was a warning, a plea for future generations to learn from their mistakes and to avoid the path of destruction. The message also contained a cryptic prophecy, hinting at a future convergence of different civilizations, a time when the fate of the galaxy would hang in the balance. It spoke of a chosen one, a being with the power to unite different races and lead them towards a brighter future. We were both humbled and inspired by this message. We realized that we were not alone in the universe, that other civilizations had risen and fallen before us. We also understood that we had a role to play in the unfolding cosmic drama, a responsibility to use our knowledge and power for good. We returned to the unity our hearts filled with a renewed sense of purpose. We had come to this planet in search of knowledge and resources, but we had found something far more precious, a shared destiny with the Lumen, a connection to an ancient civilization, and a glimpse into the future of our galaxy. Our journey through the cosmos was not without its challenges. As we ventured further into uncharted territories, we encountered strange anomalies, unpredictable energy fields, and hostile entities that tested our resolve and ingenuity. We learned to adapt, to improvise, and to rely on each other's strengths. One day, as we approached a nebula shimmering with iridescent colors, our sensors detected a powerful energy signature. It was unlike anything we had ever encountered, a pulsating wave of raw power that seemed to emanate from the heart of the nebula. As we drew closer, the energy intensified, 
causing our instruments to malfunction and our ship to shudder violently. The Unity's artificial intelligence, a sentient being named Athena, warned us that we were approaching a dangerous threshold, a point of no return. We could turn back, retreat to the safety of known space, but our curiosity, our thirst for knowledge, our unwavering belief in the power of exploration, drove us forward. We decided to press on, to face the unknown, to embrace the risks and rewards of our journey. As we entered the heart of the nebula, we were enveloped in a blinding light, a symphony of colors and sounds that overwhelmed our senses. The unity shuddered and bucked, as if fighting against an invisible force. And then, silence. The light faded, the energy dissipated, and the unity emerged on the other side of the nebula. We had survived, but our world had changed. The stars were different, the constellations unfamiliar. Our instruments indicated that we had traveled not just through space, but through time as well. We had entered a new reality, a parallel universe where the laws of physics were bent and twisted. As we gazed out at the strange and wondrous landscape before us, a sense of awe and trepidation washed over us. We had crossed a threshold, ventured into the unknown, and emerged into a realm of infinite possibilities. What awaited us in this new universe? What challenges would we face? What wonders would we discover? We didn't know, but we were ready to find out. As we set course for a nearby planet, a beacon of hope in this unfamiliar cosmos, a chilling realization dawned upon us. We were not alone. Another ship, sleek and menacing, emerged from the shadows, its weapons trained on us. We had been intercepted by a hostile force, a threat we had never imagined, a danger that would test our courage and our resolve to the limit. 